Hey there everybody, it's Zetalonix, and I know I've gone over this in like a previous tutorial, but I haven't made a specific tutorial, tutorial just about this color correction, so uh, I'm just going to go over that really fast. So, I don't know, we'll take this clip, no scope kill tack, um, thank you Sharpshot from Recon Live from cap for capturing this for me, um, as well as Weslet. Um, this is his clip. Appreciate that. So, I'm just going to delete the audio track and insert a video track above this layer. Now, if you want a color correction, the simplest way would be to take one of these gradients and just drag it right over it. And this completely covers it up. So, we'll go back and we'll edit the generated media in just a moment. But you're gonna want to drag down your opacity. And you can already see that it's starting to add this nice effect. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to match the color a little bit. So, top looks kind of bluish, and the bottom looks more like a silverish, though. Like a silverish, whitish color. Like just go down here. You know that's one color correction that you could do, but you know the white doesn't always look really great. Um, so just some color ideas would be like purple on bottom, and then on top would be like a dark green. I think that has a really really nice contrast to it. Might want to bring that down a little bit though, because it seemed off center for a moment. But you see, it has this really nice color correction, and that's just the easiest way to do a color correction. You know, there's plenty of different ways, but, um, and color corrections usually tend to look better if they're done in After Effects, sorry. And now if you want this sunburst effect, you can just, you can use the same colors too. You can do purple out here, and then click right here in the center, and do this green. And see, that looks pretty cool right there. Like, see, I actually like the way this one looks. You know, it's all about experimenting with, um... Right there. Give it a little bit bigger area. But then the green might be a little bit too much green. I don't know. Just experiment with everything. Whoops, I don't even know what I just clicked. Maybe I created a sub clip, but whatever, it's fine. And then. One more thing I'll go over is you can get super complicated like red, insert yellow, insert green, yes I'm making a rainbow, blue, dark blue, purple, that's not really purple is it? Red. This might take a second. Yellow. Oh, that's actually not going to let me create more of it. So I'll move that down. And no, it's probably going to get tilted a little bit. That's fine, though. And yeah, that's just a simple little rainbow thing. I don't really know. Those lines really stick out. So you got to really lower this one to about 17 or so. But that's another nice looking color correction, but I don't know if I really like that. Yeah, uh, you can always mess with the compositing modes, and this is what I get. You know, just, it's about experimenting. You know, whatever you think looks good. So, 
that's the simple way to how to oh and note that watch sorry if you have an uh, empty layer with a compositing mode on it will affect the layers below it so just be warned about that so that's basically how to do a uh, color correction in Sony Vegas um, I hope this tutorial was at least helpful in some way if you liked it check out my other tutorials and yeah